The coastal plains of South Texas are alive with anticipation, their quiet mornings now echoing with the energy of a new space age. Here, at the edge of the Gulf, the future of human spaceflight is being written in real time. SpaceX is preparing for Starship's 10th integrated test flight, a milestone that not only marks another chapter in the company's ambitious journey, but also signals how quickly the pace of innovation is accelerating. As of July 17, 2025, Elon Musk has confirmed a launch window in early August. This aligns with recent FCC filings, which point to August 4 as the likely date for liftoff. The coordination between regulatory filings and public statements highlights the complexity and precision required to launch the world's most powerful rocket. This will be the fourth Starship launch of 2025, a testament to SpaceX's relentless, iterative approach to rocket development. Each launch builds on the lessons of the last, with teams working around the clock to refine hardware, software, and procedures. Every flight, whether it ends in a spectacular success or a dramatic setback, delivers invaluable data. These insights fuel the next leap forward, driving improvements in reusability, safety, and performance. The iterative process is at the heart of SpaceX's philosophy. Fail fast, learn faster. The ultimate goal is clear, to create a fully reusable transportation system capable of carrying humans and cargo to the moon, Mars, and beyond. Starship is designed to open the solar system to exploration and settlement, making space accessible in ways never before imagined. For the Starbase team, the countdown is a whirlwind of activity, final checks, last-minute adjustments, and a laser focus on every detail. The pressure is immense, but so is the sense of purpose and excitement. Around the world, people gather to watch, some in person, others through screens, drawn not just by the spectacle, but by the promise of a new era in space exploration. The eyes of the world are on South Texas, where history is being made. As August approaches, excitement builds. All eyes turn to the Starbase launch pad, awaiting another bold leap toward the stars, a moment that could redefine humanity's place in the cosmos. At the heart of Flight 10 are Super Heavy Booster 16 and Starship Upper Stage Ship 37, two of the most advanced vehicles SpaceX has ever assembled. These towering machines represent the culmination of years of engineering, testing, and relentless iteration at Starbase where every detail is scrutinized to push the boundaries of what's possible in rocketry. Both Booster 16 and Ship 37 are now nearly ready for launch, standing poised on the pad after months of preparation. Their readiness is a testament to the dedication of the teams working around the clock, ensuring every system is primed for the challenges ahead. Booster 16 has undergone meticulous checks, with engineers poring over every weld, valve, and sensor. Each inspection is critical, as even the smallest oversight can have major consequences during flight. Meanwhile, Ship 37 is set for a crucial static fire at Starbase's upgraded suborbital pad, a test that will validate its engines and systems under real launch conditions. This milestone is essential before the vehicle can be cleared for flight. Originally, Ship 36 was slated for this mission, and its development was closely watched by the entire spaceflight community. Hopes were high that it would mark another leap forward for Starship, but a catastrophic test stand explosion in June forced a rapid pivot. The loss was dramatic, sending shockwaves through the program and underscoring the risks inherent in developing new spaceflight technology. SpaceX's response was swift, Ship 37's schedule was accelerated, keeping the program on track. The team quickly adapted demonstrating the flexibility and determination that have become hallmarks of SpaceX's approach. This resilience is powered by Starbase's robust production line where multiple starships and boosters are built in parallel. This approach ensures that even major setbacks don't stall progress for long, allowing SpaceX to keep pushing forward. Each new vehicle incorporates lessons from its predecessors including the ill-fated Ship 36. Failures are not just setbacks, they're opportunities to learn, adapt and improve future designs. The failure provided vital data now baked into Ship 37's design and safety checks. Every modification from structural reinforcements to new safety protocols is a direct result of what was learned from Ship 36's demise. Booster 16 and Ship 37 now stand as symbols of SpaceX's relentless drive and adaptability. Their presence on the pad is a reminder that progress in spaceflight is built on both triumphs and setbacks. Every launch is a step closer to operational Starship flights and interplanetary ambitions. With each test, SpaceX moves nearer to making routine reusable space travel a reality, paving the way for humanity's next giant leap.
While hardware is readied at Starbase, a complex web of regulatory hurdles looms large, shaping the path to launch. Every step forward in rocket assembly is matched by a parallel process of paperwork, oversight and review, all designed to ensure that safety and compliance are never compromised. The Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, must grant a modified launch license before any countdown can begin. This involves a meticulous review of all technical and safety changes since the last flight, with teams of experts poring over data, risk assessments, and new procedures. After the dramatic booster breakup during Flight 9, a formal mishap investigation was launched to determine the root cause and prevent future incidents. This investigation must be thoroughly completed and officially closed before Flight 10 can proceed, ensuring that all lessons learned are fully integrated into the next mission. Environmental reviews also play a key role, given Starbase's location in a region rich with sensitive habitats and protected wildlife. Inspectors assess potential impacts, from noise to emissions, to safeguard the surrounding ecosystem. Each flight and every change to infrastructure requires supplemental checks, with teams verifying that all systems meet the latest regulatory standards and that compliance is maintained at every stage. These processes, though sometimes slow and painstaking, are vital for both safety and environmental stewardship. They ensure that the excitement of launch day never comes at the expense of people or the planet. The early August launch depends as much on regulatory green lights as it does on technical readiness. Every department, from engineering to legal, must align before the final go-ahead is given. Only when the FAA is fully satisfied and all reviews are complete, will Starship Flight 10 be cleared for liftoff marking the culmination of months of preparation, collaboration, and rigorous oversight. While Starship captures headlines, SpaceX's Dragon capsule quietly excels. In July 2025, the Axiom-4 mission returned safely, marking the debut of a new Dragon capsule, GRACE. GRACE's flawless performance highlights the maturity and reliability of the Dragon platform. Dragon's steady success funds and legitimizes SpaceX's bolder projects like Starship. The contrast between Dragon's routine excellence and Starship's experimental pace is the core of SpaceX's strategy. As Grace is prepped for its next flight, it stands as proof of SpaceX's engineering depth and operational credibility. Building on Dragon's success, SpaceX readies for Crew-11, launching late July 2025. This NASA mission features key upgrades to the Dragon capsule, reflecting SpaceX's commitment to constant improvement. Enhancements range from software tweaks to more robust life support and thermal protection. These upgrades ensure Dragon remains at the forefront of crewed spaceflight as commercial space stations loom on the horizon. Reliable crew transport is essential for the future of low Earth orbit, and Dragon is poised to lead. Crew 11's launch is another milestone, showcasing a mature, evolving system trusted by NASA. Each mission strengthens the bridge to a new era of human activity in space. Alongside rockets, SpaceX's Starlink constellation is transforming global internet access. Starlink connects remote communities, but its rapid expansion raises sustainability concerns. In early 2025, over 470 Starlink satellites were deorbited in just six months, a record pace. While designed to burn up safely, this high turnover adds to orbital crowding and debris worries. Scientists are now studying the atmospheric impact of vaporizing thousands of satellites, the challenge balancing revolutionary connectivity with responsible stewardship of space. As the largest satellite operator, SpaceX must pioneer sustainable practices for the industry. The future of a sustainable space economy depends on getting this balance right. As Starship's 10th flight nears, SpaceX stands as a symbol of modern ambition and innovation. Its achievements, reusable rockets, reliable capsules and global internet, have reshaped aerospace. But with progress comes responsibility especially regarding Starlink's environmental impact. SpaceX must lead in developing best practices for orbital sustainability. The company's journey mirrors humanity's bold vision, rapid progress and new challenges. True success will be measured not just by reaching Mars but by preserving our orbital environment. Starship Flight 10 is more than a test. It's a focal point for the promise and challenges of the space age. By balancing ambition with stewardship, SpaceX can ensure its legacy is one of both exploration and responsibility.